Hey, what's going on, YouTube? AJ Let's Talk Sports is what the show's called. That's my YouTube channel. My name is AJ. What's going on? It's late night, 2.44 in the morning or early morning, whatever the case may be for you guys. I'm doing a live um, YouTube channel right now on the fly. Plus, I'm doing... Well, it's recorded right now, but I'm recording this YouTube channel. Plus, I'm doing a live... Um, I'm on air. Like, I'm actually working. I'm working on my... Um, on their personality stuff. So I'm going to get this in real quick. We got one minute to start this. I'm at my live, um, commercial break here in a minute. I want to talk about Ohio state versus Indiana. So I'm going to set you guys right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you the favorites, right? Favorites right now. They're favored by 20 and a half. Ohio state's favored by 20 and a half, um, over under 66.5. We're going to talk about that here in about 40 seconds. I'm going to see what I can do here because, um, it's a lot of information. I got a lot of paperwork. Got a lot of stats. Got a lot of everything to cover. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. If it doesn't work out like this, I'm going to have to probably do it on my own spare time because there's a lot of information to cover. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this while I'm on air because I got to talk, do this, and give you the stats. So, multi-talented, multitasking. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Are you ready? You guys ready? Okay, I might even just, I might even do this. All right, so that way I can get comfortable. Property is 77, what's going on? This is AJ's The Final Score. I'm also doing, I'm doing a YouTube right now, live, local, late-breaking coverage you can count on from the sports world. So Ohio State versus Indiana. I'm going to go ahead and give a brief description about this. So on the YouTube channel, AJ Let's Talk Sports, doing recording right now, and I'm on the AJ's final score all at the same time because I am crazy like that. So let's take a look at the uh, stats here for the team stats. Buckeyes, they have won 24 consecutive games over uh, Indiana since a 27 all tie in 1990. Indiana last defeated Ohio State consecutively in 1987 and 1988. Since 1952, Ohio State owns 55 2 and 2 record in the series. So notes to know, Fields off to a good start. Let's take a look at a little bit of stats for Indiana as well. Now look at this. Ohio State has outgained its last two opponents uh, at Penn State, 296. 296. 17, Ohio State has won 17 consecutive games over Big Ten opponents. The Buckeyes have won 22 consecutive home games. Ohio State has nation's longest active regular season winning streak at 19. Please tell me Ohio State's not ranked number one yet. Ohio State isn't? Why is that? I have no clue. Let's take a look at the Hoosiers. Not much to talk about with the Hoosiers, but um, they are having a good year with Tom Allen at the helm. Tom Allen's a crazy dude. I'd probably like to uh, play for that guy. He looks pretty cool. Indiana comes to Columbus on Saturday, sporting a top 10 ranking for the first time since 1967. The Hoosiers' own uh, wins over Penn State, Rutgers, Michigan, and Michigan State Quarterback Michael Penix Jr., which pay attention to that name, guys, because I'm going to be talking about him here in a little bit. So Michael Penix Jr. leads the conference in passing yards, 1,070, and is second behind Justin Fields. That's only second. So they're one and two. Penix's top uh, receiving target is uh, Ty Freifogel, who leads the league with uh, 424 receiving yards and has four touchdown passes. All right, so the first, this, the first thing I want to talk about, uh, Indiana Hoosiers. Uh, I'm not an Indiana guy. Don't like Indiana. Never liked the Hoosiers. Didn't even like the movie. But anyway, first time in the top 10 since 1967. That's got to say something. Good job, Tom Allen. Now, that is the little intro for your stats. That paper's done. Let's throw that away. Now, let's look at uh, some team stats. Uh, yeah, team stats. I got a lot of information here. Now, I was going to do some picks. I haven't even made my prediction yet for the game. So, the scoring... Ohio, let's take a look at Ohio State real quick. Total points per game, 46.3. Total points is 139. Total touchdowns uh, is 19. That's just the scoring. First downs, 77 first downs. Let's look at the third down efficiency. They're 58% at third downs, 25 of 43. That's not too bad. Fourth down efficiency, 5 of 6. 5 of 6 and fourth down, 83.33%. Let's look at the passing. We should go comparisons next to, next to each other, okay? So we're going to look at Indiana's as well. Their scoring is 
There, Indiana is about 12 points behind. That's going to have that something to do with the final predictions at the end of this segment. So we have a lot to talk about. I'm going to try to br- breeze through this. No pun intended with Drew Breeze. He's out, by the way. Hey, three to six weeks, maybe. He's going to be back by the time the uh, th- same thing happened last year. But anyway, uh, so points per game, 33.8. They have a total of 135 points, uh, 16 Total points, and look at okay. Total touchdowns is sixteen, and then you look, maybe that's printed off wrong. But first downs they have eighty five. Um, yeah, that was right. Total points is one hundred thirty five, and total touchdowns is sixteen for Indiana Hoosiers. This is the Indiana Hoosiers. So, actually, they're only a couple point, a couple points behind, um, Ohio State. And um, total touchdowns, 19 to 16. So it's a pretty good close comparison team stat-wise. So I'm going to probably look. Do you want to look at special teams? Do you want to look at offense, total plays, 220 to uh, two, oh, wow, the Indiana has a lot more plays, 298, than, uh, than Ohio State. So let's take a look. Are we going to do some defense? Look at the penalties. Okay. We're going to get through that. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and look at some player stats now. So Ohio State, the team. This I'm going to look at the team leaders as Justin Fields with 908 passing yards, uh, rushing yards. Master Teague, sorry about that video, guys. I'm covering everything up. Master Teague is uh, 211 uh, receiving yards. Garrett Wilson 344 tackles to 16. Tough Borland. Tough Borland's going to be a, a top note matchup here when we talk about players to watch. Uh, interceptions, Marcus Hooker. There's only one interception for him. So look at let's take a look at the Indiana Hoosiers. So actually, Michael Penix Jr. has more passing yards than Justin Fields, uh, and Stevie Scott the third has more rushing yards, over a hundred yet rushing yards than uh, Master Teague. I gotta love that name. You gotta love that name, Master Teague, don't you? So here we go. Let's look at receiving yards. 424 to 344. Ty Freifogel is leading it over Garrett Wilson. So Micah McFadden, take listen to these two guys here. We're going to go with a linebacker you. You haven't heard that one in a long time, have you, Buckeyes? Tough Borland versus Micah McFadden. Stay tuned to that. And Marcus Hooker and Jalen Williams. Jalen Williams has more interceptions than Marcus Hooker does in the safety spot. But uh, Jalen Williams is a DB. So don't throw over towards Jalen Williams. Got to do that. He's probably going to be swerving back and forth, double covering some people, but who knows. But Hooker is going to be the one in the backfield. Or in the back, yeah, in the backfield trying to uh, get uh, get those picks. So let's take a look. So with the, the positives of this Indiana Hoosiers, they're ranked ninth. And th- like I said, this is the first time they've been ranked this in the top 10 since 1967. Another positive, you have a great coach, an awesome coach. Tom Allen is probably one of the best player coaches in college football today, other than Ryan Day, of course. So there's a the positive for your Indiana Hoosiers. Now, Ohio State, we have all kinds of positive. We always have, we, we, we just transfer over so, so well. Our coaching staff is immaculate. The best, I think our coaching staff is the best in the business all the time, every year. Uh, Ryan Day is awesome. They get good scouting. They, it seems like they're always in the top five, top ten every single year. Like I said, they're number three right now. Um, I think Justin Fields is is perfecting his trade. He's a really good runner as well, and he makes really good decisions. Um, so there's your positives. Players to watch. I'm going to go offense and defense, okay? So offense, we're going to go with um, a quarterback comparison. I'm going to stick with one um, group of people, okay? So it's going to be a quarterback matchup for the offense. Just like I said earlier with the statistics, Fields versus Penix Jr. Penix Jr. is actually better this year so far than Justin Fields in just a comparison of the passing yards. So if you look at um, the passing here, Justin Fields, he's 86% completion percentage. If you round up, it's 87%. So let's round up on that. 87% completion percentage, 11% uh, average, uh, 49 to long, 11 touchdowns. He's been sacked seven times, though. So let's take a look at 
Penix Jr.'s percentage. Now, he's only a 60.7%, so that factors in quite a bit. Seven, he's, only, he's only averaging seven yards a game with nine touchdowns and three interceptions compared to 11 and zero. Fields, is he takes care of the ball. He doesn't make bad decisions. That's what you like to see in a quarterback. That's what you like to see in a potential NBA or NFL quarterback as well. So, Justin Fields in this matchup dominates Penix Jr. Okay, so I'm giving Justin Fields the nod. Let's take a look at the defensive side. And I, was gonna, I talked about linebacker U. Tough Borland is one of my favorite linebackers in, at Ohio State. Besides A.J. Hawk. A.J. Hawk's my number one favorite from Centerville, by the way. Go Elks. So, Tough Borland, he has 16 tackles. So, let's take a look and see if I can find him on the defensive side. Tough Borland, seven solo tackles, nine assists, 16 total. He's got a sack and doesn't look like any fumble recovers or interceptions. Let's take a look at Micah McFadden. We're going to go with the defensive matchup. Micah McFadden, players to watch. Micah McFadden, 20 solo tackles, 10 assists. He's got 30 total tackles, two sacks, and that is all. So I want to go with, the, obviously the DBs are going to have to watch out for that, but the key matchup is in the inside, I believe, in the box, in the eight. If you're going to run Justin Fields or if Indiana's going to start running, uh, you got to watch Tough Borland. He's going to be all over the place. And it looks like uh, this Micah pa uh, McFadden looks pretty decent, too, as well as the linebackers. So let's talk about the prediction scores. Like I said, it's 20 and a half. What do they usually, what's the uh, Ohio State usually average? 46 points to 33 points? Let's write this down real quick. I'm doing this on the fly because I have to hurry up and get this done. So we got um, uh, 66 and a half. Four, seven. We're going to go, we're going to go ahead and do, let's play it safe. We're going to do the average. We're gonna do we're gonna do 45, 45 for Ohio State to let's do 32. And that will put it that will put it at 70, 77. Have you put it at 77 total? And then that would put you over, because I always like doing over. So that's 77 total. 45, 32, Ohio State wins. There's your predictions. There's your game. Thank you very much. Hope you guys enjoyed this at home at the YouTube, AJ Let's Talk Sports. And I hope you all enjoyed it here at AJ's A Final Score. Doing multitasking, baby. When you shop goodwill, you don't so I hope you guys like that. Let's keep that off. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to go right into the hour. So stay I want to drop this. I want to be able to drop this on Instagram. I want to be able to drop this on all the other different social media outlets. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening. And hopefully you guys have a great day.